Mary Jane Liddell is the coordinator of the Cherish Program, an organization in Ansonia that provides support to seniors who have endured different types of abuse. We get referrals from possibilities of domestic violence, elder abuse, and we have to research what's happening in a particular situation. So if a person is able to stay at home, we do a lot of safety planning and we do a lot of counseling. But if a person is at the hospital, for instance, and cannot return to their home, I work hand in hand with elderly protective services in that particular situation to find an assisted living facility or a domestic violence shelter. According to the State Department of Social Services, the number of elder abuse cases have more than doubled between the years of 2011 and 2017. In 2017, emotional, physical, and sexual abuse accounted for more than 20 percent of reported cases among seniors. For 52 years, Rita Pompano lived with her abusive husband, Ralph. She was 69 years old when the worst of her demoralizing torment began. Every single day, he physically abused me. He could have taken me and thrown me into a closet. He might have taken me in the bedroom, grabbed my leg, and twisted it until I screamed in pain. He would take me for rides in the middle of the night. He'd wake me up, and he'd make me go on these wild rides with me driving and him beating me up as I was driving Every, every day he was very creative and he got more and more creative and more and more abusive. When asked why she didn't leave him, she said he told her he would kill her and her whole family and she believed him. It is probably the most common question that I hear from people and I didn't leave because I was terrified of him for this reason. From number one he said that he would always track me and my son down and if he caught us he would kill us. And he also said that if we left, that he would kill, he would graphically describe how he was going to kill my entire family. And I couldn't have that on my conscience. I felt like I was protecting my whole family. Liddell counseled Rita through the Cherish program. Inside Rita's home, Liddell would help her ease into a life of her own, counseling her through nightmares and psychological triggers. I felt more at home here. I knew that I needed the help and, and she was giving it to me. And I was happy that they were able to come to the condo to do it. After years of isolation from friends and family, she cherishes every moment she has with them, especially while traveling. This is in New Hampshire too. Sal likes cows and we couldn't find live cows, so we saw some statues of cows outside of a dairy, and we, and we went there. <laughs> Each trip, she says, has helped her gain more confidence in living an independent life.